Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the praise. Let God be glorified forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. This is God's soul channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Child of God, the three of them. This is a warfare prophetic message to somebody. The theory of them that has been tormenting your life, they are exposed. There is somebody that torments that you have been passing through. It is something that you cannot explain. All you do is, all you say is just that, I leave it in the hands of God. You know, nothing leaves in the hands of God that will not get justice. Anything leave in the hands of God we bring there will be justice in it. Yes, there will be justice in it. When God brings justice into it, there will those that are responsible for it, they will be exposed. You understand? They will be exposed. There will be justice. And the justice is being served. Hallelujah. And the justice is being served. Glory to Jesus. The theory of them are being exposed. Somebody, when you look at the left, right, center, it seems as if all around, the devil have always, always planted people in that circle just to torment you. Just to torment you. There is nothing that you have not experienced. You have experienced human torment. You have experienced spiritual torment. You have experienced different kinds of torment, but you are like, I put it in the hands of God. So hear me, anything put in the hands of God is safe. And it is not just safe, it is secure. It is not just secure, it is preserved. You understand, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Yes, the spirit, the spirit that operate in the heart of these three, that has been tormenting your life, the, the spirit that operates in them wanted you dead. Wanted you dead. This is very, very serious. Because the torment is there not to even spell your life. Because the devil does not spell life. Devil does not spell life. Witches does not spell life. It is only God that still loves us, even in our mistakes and error. It is only God that spell our life, even in our disobedience, even in our sinful nature. God is the only one that can spell us when we messed up. We messed up of a truth. Every believer, we keep messing up in one way or the other. Somehow, some way, we messed up. But God sees spell us because it's that God that keeps giving us a chance, giving us chance, giving us multiple chances. And that multiple chances that God is giving to us, you need to understand that that multiple chances even upset devil. Devil is like, if, if it were me now, nah, this one would be gone. Devil would be like, ah, if it is me now, nah, I would have killed, I would have just killed him and killed her. Devil does not spell life. Even, even his loyalists, is it loyalists they call them, those ones that are loyal to Satan. I heard of something the last time, Satan loyalist. I'm like, okay. Have we gotten to that point where somebody can come out and say he's loyal to Satan? Have we gotten to that point? People used to hide these things. People used to hide it, you know. Even if they are satan, they are satanist. Is it satanist they call them? I think so. Even if they are satanist, before they used to hide. They do it in a hidden way that people will not know that they are satanist, that they are darkness. But come to this generation now. They declare it boldly. They declare it boldly. As they declare it boldly. 
that there are people who back them up. There are laws who back them up. The law will tell you that, ah, it is freedom, it's freedom of speech. On the last day, ignorance will not be an excuse. It is anybody, as long as they are happy, anybody can do anything. No one is preaching to them anymore. Ah, if it is what they choose, it's okay. They are happy, it's okay by me. As somebody come out to declare itself that they are, satan, they are satanists, are being loyalists to satan. And a believer is saying that it is okay. It means that you are accepting Satan yourself. Though you might not hate the people, you have to say this is wrong. That makes you different. Not that you are going to hate the person practicing. You are going to say that this practice, it is wrong. It is not okay. Even if they, they look happy in it, this is wrong because you were saved to save. You were saved to serve. You were not saved to accept. It is okay. It is okay. Satan is. Uh, it is okay. That is what makes them happy. Uh, loyalist to Satan. It is okay. It is okay. That is not why you were saved. You were saved to represent Christ. You were saved to serve. Because the harvest is ripe. And the laborers are few. You were saved to serve. It is okay, it is okay. When somebody rises up from your family and says they are loyal to Satan, you have to tell the person, brother, Jesus loves you and I love you, but this loyalist, whatever you are practicing, it is not good. I don't approve it. No, God does not approve this. And the person is like, boy, am I not your sister? Yes, you are my sister, but this practicing is a guest. My will is against the will of God. It is okay, it is okay. Ah. A child is going astray. And the family have to love him. Yes, child, we love you. We are your family. But this practicing that you are practicing, we are not in support of it. It's against the will of God. Because you are saved to save. Not, you are not saved to accept everything. It is okay. It is okay. Back to the message. <clears throat> God is exposing three of them. The spirit wants you dead. The spirit in these three things that was tormenting your life, they want you dead. But God spell your life. Because you put everything in the hands of God. As you put everything in the hands of God, even in your errors and in your mistake, God saves you. Even in your error and in your mistake, God preserved you. <laughs> even in your error and your mistake, God gives you a second chance, a third chance, a fourth chance, and multiple chances. Because you are in the hands of God, the three of them, the spirit that dwells in them, that wants you dead, God exposed them. The satanic spirit, the loyalist satanic spirit that wants you dead, God exposed them. Do you know why you are loyal to God and God will protect your own? You are not loyal to Satan, so Satan has no authority over your life. Satan has no authority over your life. I need you to understand. I need you to understand that God exposed the tomato and he give you justice. Not that you even merit the justice, but because you are said God. None of us even merit what God is giving to us because we are human. That is full with uncleanliness. But because of his mercy, because of his grace, because of his compassion, he put these things in our hands that we don't even merit. I was speaking, I was talking to myself a few time ago. <clears throat> Sometimes I speak to myself. In my heart, I was just speaking to myself. 
what am I doing? If this were to be by qualification, I would not have been called. And I was talking to myself, I must not take this privilege for granted. I was speaking to myself, there are people who are praying for it, but they don't have it yet. But here I am, God just put it in my hands. I should not take it for granted. Like I was speaking, I speak to myself. Whenever, specifically, whenever I am getting weak, because I'm a human being, or when I'm getting distracted, when I'm losing focus a little, then it's this voice of the Lord that always speak, that always help me to correct myself. Like there are people who wanted this. God gave it to you, carry it with dignity. Then when I realized I sat down, like if I were not serving the Lord, if I were not preaching the gospel, if I were not praying, if I were not encouraging others, what would I be doing? What would, what would I have been doing? I said, no, it is time to refocus. You understand what I'm saying? God's or oh, that is error. Losing focus is, a, is an error. If it is the devil, the devil will strike us. Why are you losing focus? Is something wrong with you? I sent you a message, you are losing focus. The devil we, does not spell their own. But we as believers, even when we are making mistakes, losing focus, the Spirit of the Lord in us is telling us, son, daughter, I made your way. You are losing it. Don't get addicted to wrong something. Try to remove yourself from this thing. Don't fill your heart with what you are not supposed to fill your heart with. Because our God loves us, even in our mistakes. Hallelujah. The spirit that wants you dead, they are being exposed. And God is delivering you from every torment. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.